Hey, what's up? I'm Aaron Kern for RantSports.com. Memorial Day weekend is here, which means we're a quarter of the way through the Major League Baseball season. Typically, this is when you have a large enough sample size to get a grasp on the landscape around the league. You get a feeling just how good or bad your team's going to be, what type of season certain guys are going to have, and if you've been busy watching the NBA and NHL playoffs, it's now time to start paying attention. And we feel like it's also a good time here at Rand Sports to recap the first two months by handing out our first quarter MLB awards. And we'll start with the National League's most valuable player. Now this one is interesting. Let me go on the record by saying, if Matt Kemp were healthy, this probably would have gone to him hands down. The Dodgers are still rolling with Kemp on the disabled list. I was torn between him, Carlos Beltran, and David Wright. And I've gotta give it to Beltran. He's had to not only replace Albert Pujols' production in the lineup, but St. Louis has also been without Lance Bertman most of the season. Beltron leads the National League with 14 home runs. He's second in RBIs with 37, and his average is climbing up to 300. To me, he's the biggest reason that the St. Louis Cardinals have the best offense in the National League, and they're on top in the NL Central. David Wright has a higher average, a higher on-base percentage, but to me, Beltron is simply more valuable to the Cardinals right now than David Wright is to the Mets. AL MVP, that's a little easier. I believe Texas Rangers Josh Hamilton is a serious triple crown threat this season. He's got 49 ribbies, 18 home runs, and a 379 batting average. Many thought Albert Pujols would win this award going over to the American League. Well, he's got four home runs so far this season. That's one night in Baltimore for Josh Hamilton. He's the AL MVP, no argument there. The National League Cy Young's first quarter award goes to Clayton Kershaw. This was a toss up between him and the Braves' Brandon Beachy. They're basically equal in innings pitched, hits and earned runs allowed. Kershaw has a better strikeout to walk ratio, a slightly lower whip. You could give it to either one. Both guys are certainly deserving, but the Dodgers have the best record in baseball. I've got to give the slightest edge to Clayton Kershaw. American League Cy Young, that's not as difficult. Justin Verlander, he's 5-1, and one. he has the lowest ERA, the lowest whip, the most strikeouts. He nearly threw his third no-hitter last time out, taking it all the way to the ninth inning against the Pirates. He's had a couple of rough outings, but for the most part, he's been vintage Verlander. He's been great for the Tigers this year, and I think he's on his way to a second straight American League Cy Young. So those are my first quarter awards for MVP and Cy Young. Do you agree? Disagree? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and for more coverage on the Major League Baseball season, go to randsports.com MLB.